You will agree with me that CapCut is an amazing video editor, but one of the greatest challenges of using CapCut to edit videos on your mobile phone is the fact that it's difficult to edit longer videos. Having to cut out longer mistakes, add special effects and a whole lot of things that is difficult to do with your mobile phone because of the small screen size. In this video, I'm going to show you CapCut desktop walkthrough. I'm going to show you all the functionalities and special effects and how to use CapCut for desktop and generally how to use CapCut on your computer. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, please let's dive in. Now to get started all you have to do is to simply visit your browser and type in capcut.com capcut.com so here is capcut.com free all-in-one video editor for everyone to create anything anywhere so you have the edit video online and then you have the download for windows so you have two options edit video online and download for windows so if you click on edit video online it's going to open up the online portal where you can be able to edit your videos online without having any stress. You just go ahead. You don't need to make any downloads. Just go ahead and upload your videos, edit it online and do anything that you want. So if I click on blank canvas right now and click on create, it's going to open up the interface where I'll start editing my videos right away without having to make any downloads whatsoever. So while it's loading the editor, let's move over to the other option, which is download for Windows. So once you click on download for Windows, it's going to automatically download the file, the raw file to your system where you can now install it. The installation process is quite easy. As you can see, I'm already downloading it automatically. And after downloading, you can then go ahead and install it. The installation process is quite easy, very simple. Just click on install and go ahead and install it. And then you can be able to use CapCut on your desktop anytime you want. So we're going to skip that part because it's quite easy. I don't want to bore you out with the process. So this is the online editor, the one that is online that will open in our browser. The only good thing about the online version is that you can actually log in to the cloud. You can sign up here and just log into the cloud and then all your editing process, your videos, everything will be in the cloud. So you can be able to edit from anywhere. You can leave your system here and travel anywhere in the world and be able to just log in from any computer and then continue your editing process. So that's the only good thing about this. But any other thing remains the same if you're using the normal desktop version or if you're using the online version. So here are the functionalities. I'm going to walk you through this on the normal desktop version. So let's go ahead and crank that up right now so this is CapCut you double click and have it open and now we have this so the next thing you're going to do is to just open a new project so click on here and open a new project so here is a new project and the first thing you need to do here is to import a video to your timeline so if you want to select multiple videos at the same time all you have to do is to hold down control and click on the video that you want and you are good to go so we have two videos selected. So now we have imported the two videos and then you can go ahead and drag it to your timeline. Drag it like so, drag this one to your timeline like so. So we have it here. So now we have two videos on our timeline. So you can now start your video editing. So we're going to go ahead and run through some of the functionalities right here. So here is the media. This is where I got, you know, the how to import the videos that everything that I need to use for the editing. And here is your audio. You can search for any song whatsoever here and use it. But I do not advise that you use any song here if you're going to be uploading on YouTube. Now here is um, the text. The text, if you want to, add text to your video if you want to add text effects or anything that you want is also here then the amazing part is the auto captions if you want to caption your video this is the one amazing thing about CapCut having to auto caption your videos so to use the auto caption all you have to do is to click on auto captions and then click on create or you select the language that you want they have quite a number of languages Japanese Korean Portuguese Russian Indonesian Spanish and German but for the purpose of this training we are going to go ahead and use English so I'm going to cl click on create so it's going to take its time and create the captions automatically so now it has done captioning and as you can see it captioned it pretty well pretty well if you want me to do a tutorial on CapCut on how to do captions or generally if you want me to do a CapCut series just like I've been doing for Canva please let me know in the comment section so that I can go ahead and break all these things down so as you can see the video has been captioned effectively all you have to do is to now start stylizing it but that's not the purpose of this video I just want to show you a walkthrough of how to use the CapCut so now that I've already auto generated the caption you can come over here and click on caption make your edit or delete or add 
add anything that you want to add and you're good to go and also you can also come over to text to choose your designs to make your styles and everything that you want to do and then this is text to speech if you want to convert your text to speech this is also amazing tool you can use for that and that's for auto captions if you come to local captions this is if you already have your captions already you can just simply import that from here and click on import and then import your local captions and you're good to go and that is for text so move over to stickers and this is also the amazing thing about using CapCut to edit your videos because you have all these things as your background call and as you can see we'll have amazing stickers that you can use for your videos without having to externally bring it into your video and start adding all those things one after the other or start searching for them so you have everything right here on CapCut. like now i'm going to ask you to please like my video so i've <laughs> dragged that emoji here so if i'm going to ask you right now to please go ahead and like this video so that more people can see it and benefit from it and as you can see it's telling you to do that also so please go ahead the emoji has told you to like this video so go ahead and like the video so moving on you can see all the amazing sticker that stands out that you can use to stylize your video and get people to engage with your video and one thing i love about it is that they have it broken down the trending emoji you have the emphasis you have the icon you have the love the vibes the birthday the shima the vlog and a whole lot of them so just go ahead and use them to stylize your video and increase the engagement of your video and then the next one is effects now we have the video effect and the body effect now for the body effect you have different types of body effect you have the trending selfie superpowers frame glowing lines max funny faces background mood image and all whatnot so here you can just click on download for anyone that you want to use you just click on download and it automatically downloads it so as you can see that's downloaded and applied the funny face automatically and then you can click on trending if you want to see what is currently trending and what people love you can just go ahead and use any of this and that is for body effects if we go over to video effects you have different types of effects you have the shake you have the camera shake a whole lot of effects that you can add to your video and make your video stand out so so CapCut is just one amazing tool that you can use to make your video stand out without having to pay anything. CapCut is totally for free, free of charge, right? So that's for effect. And then here is for transition. You have different types of transition. Transition is when you mix two videos, two video clips together. Um, for instance, if I want to slice this video now and match, match them. So let's quickly go to transitions. You go to camera. We can see pulling. We can see swirl. We can see left. We can see right. So let's go ahead and use this left. So you can see how it goes. Here is the two video clips. If you click on any of them, like this left now, it can show you how to make it work. So we can just drag and drop this here and we'll have an amazing transition from one video to the other. So you can see it. So here is filters. If you want to add filters to your video, any type of filter, you just go ahead and select this and add filters to your video and you're good to go. It has an amazing collection of filters that is mind blowing. So just go ahead and try out the filters and see which one works for you the best and then if you come over to adjustment adjustment is so amazing that it gives you the opportunity to adjust your videos by yourself by using lot so if you have a lot that you want to import all you have to do is to click on lot and then click on import and then import your lot and you can use that on all your videos and your videos will look very amazing and cohesive across all your videos so again if you highlight the video and then you come over to this side of the video you can see different options here so here you can see basic you can see cutouts you can see mask you can see enhance so if you come to basic so here you can scale in and scale out your videos and you can also do the opacity here this is where you do your opacity settings and then you have your keyframe if you want to add your keyframe so if i want to start with opacity zero and then add a keyframe here and come forward and then add another keyframe and increase the opacity so now we'll go from dark to brightness so amazing right so this is what you use 
this particular basic for and then you have the cutout so for cutout if you want to remove the background of your video let's say you shot on a chroma key like a green screen and you want to cut out the video all you have to do is to click on this one and it will automatically take off the background for you but then if you shot a video like this and you want to remove the background all you have to do is to turn on the auto cutout and it will start processing and it will automatically remove the background for you and it's going to be totally transparent and then you can be able to put on any background that you want as you can see here is playing so the video background has been removed so that is how you use the cutout and then for the mask if you want to mask in anything or make a circle let's say a tutorial you have a tutorial you want to make a circle and you can use this simply like this and you're good to go so the next one is enhance if you want to enhance your your face your facial beauty if you want to enhance anything so here you can see the face here you can see the eyes if you want to work on the eyes big eyes as you can see my eyes is increasing and if you want to increase the, the distance and the corner if you want to do any of that you see that here and then you come over to the nose if you want a slim nose if you want any other thing you add that then for mouth if you want your mouth to be big small okay so anyhow you want your mouth to be is going to appear like that if you want to smile you know look smiley or not look smiley anyhow you want it you can also achieve that here so that is for for face enhance then you have um, your face you click on your face if you want to smoothen it out if you want to brighten your face if you want to whiten your teeth you know anything that you want to do you can actually use this cap code to achieve that but you know we're going to be doing a very in-depth tutorial on all these things if you guys would love to see that and then we'll come over to audio if you want to increase your volume reduce your volume or if you have a noise in your background that you want to remove you just click on noise reduction and it's going to automatically remove noise from your background and then for voice effect you can click here if you want to add voice effect to your voice so you can <laughs> So you have your deep voice so if you want to make emphasis on anything you can use this to make that emphasis on that particular section so all you need to do is to just cut out that section like i've done here just cut out the section and then add the voice effect to it and you have something amazing like you want it to so you can use it for emphasis and everything so here is speed if you want to increase your speed or slow your speed down if you want slow motion if you want it want it fast tracked this is where you do that and then this is the curve you can use the already made curve or you can just go ahead and customize yours and you're good to go and then for animation you can use this to animate your videos your beginning and your ending or you want to make emphasis anywhere you can see how this one entered so it came in with a shake if i go ahead and select another one like this you can see how it is so any one that you want to use is amazing so you can use it to animate your videos and then the next one is tracking if you want to track your video from one point to the other and have the same thing remain in frame this is where you use your tracking so all you have to do is select the tracking or and where you want it to start from and end and then click on start and then it will automatically start tracking your videos if you have been wondering how you can create tutorial videos like this that is record your screen while showing your face then i made a video in the past right here go ahead and watch it so you can learn how to do this tutorial video while showing your face is amazing is something that you can do so go ahead and watch it and thank me later see you on the other side